All right, so it's a typical uh, spring day here, really windy. I'm exploring a, a new beach, it's called White House Creek. And I painted here before, but it was a while ago. Um, so let me show you what I'm thinking. There's some beautiful ripples that come through here that are sort of backlit and they almost show up as being yellow. Um, nice uh, sky reflected on the sand. Uh, then I also like there's nice white water out in the rocks. There's some clouds to work with. But in general, there's just no, I'm not, I've walked around for a while and I'm not seeing any, you know, composition that, that grabs me. So I'm just gonna play around with the elements I have here and try to come up with a composition. I've got the Anderson easel as usual and I'm gonna be painting on a 12 by 16 panel. Usual palette of colors, there's one different guest color here. This is uh, Gamblin's Radiant Blue. Uh, and when I squeezed it, actually somebody gave me that tube of paint. When I squeezed it out, I noticed it was like, wow, that looks like ultramarine and white, uh, titanium white, and looked at the label on the back, and sure enough, that's what it is. This one here is Viridian, so I figured since I'm painting the ocean, I'd squeeze out a bit of that too. All right, so here's the compositional idea. There are some nice, you know, reflections on the wet sand here, so I'm gonna to try to focus on those. The tide is coming in and the beach is fairly f flat here, so the water is gonna come in really quickly. All right, so here is the rock pattern. The rocks in the distance are really dark, and then the rocks in the foreground are more of like sort of a, you know, kind of a gray-brown color. Uh, there's a lot of seaweed that's more of a saturated green. I'm gonna kind of avoid that green color uh, just because I prefer the warm tones of these rocks. So I will, you know, kind of make these rocks here, kind of those warm orangey tones. Since the water's coming in really quickly, I'm gonna need to focus on the reflections because uh, I'm gonna lose those really quickly. So that's the next step. Since I'm going with like warm rock colors, um, you know, the reflection is gonna be also a warm color. I'm mixing in a little bit of green though. to kind of gray it down. The challenging thing is, is also getting the value of them right. I think they're a little bit too dark but making sure that the value of the reflections is light enough. You know, the surrounding sky reflections are really light. Uh, the rocks are dark, and then I'd say that the reflections are somewhere in between. So I'm mixing up a color for the water, and I'm using phthalo, cadmium yellow medium and titanium white. All right, so I'm mixing up a color for the sky here using titanium white and phthalo blue. And I wanna keep the value light, but I do want saturation. And as I've talked about before, I always wanna make sure that the dark part of the clouds are not too purple, which is something I've done in the past. Uh, make sure they're definitely more of a gray color. All right, so I, I like the value shift between the two. Um, you know, just looking at the clouds, you can see it's a fairly delicate value shift.
All right, so as you guys may know, I like to compose paintings using strong, simple shapes. Um, at this particular spot, they're really, I was kind of struggling to find a simple design to work with. Um, so I decided to, you know, embrace the complexity of the scene and just experiment working on rocks and try to get some, you know, some reflections and then also, you know, kind of focus on some of the color shifts in the water. Overall, I do feel like this is sort of an accurate representation of the day um, and of the place. If I, you know, sort of organized the rocks too much, it would not have been representative of that particular location. I did try to create, uh, keep some transparency and energy in the brush strokes. And then also when painting rocks, I always try to keep them um, very sort of random. So I made quick decisions when painting the rocks so that they wouldn't look too careful. And here's a little close up so you can see, you know, some of the paint application. I don't put pressure on myself to do a good painting. Usually when I go out, what I'm trying to do is learn something or, you know, just carefully observe something. And, you know, obviously, obviously if I get a good painting, I'm happy about that. But I really have gotten to the point where I enjoy the process of exploration. So, you know, like in this case, when I get to a place where I'm not seeing a composition that uh, I feel is really strong, you know, in other words, like, nice abstract uh, patterns to work with, then it's an opportunity to sort of play and see what I can discover and what I can learn. And I think in this particular painting or this session, um, you know, I do feel like I experimented with colors in a way that I haven't before. You know, looking very carefully at the shifts of color in the water, like there was a lot of purples in there. And then, um, as I mentioned, there was sort of these yellow you know, backlit yellow ripples that were coming through. So it's really enjoyable to experiment and try to incorporate all those colors. Um, you know, there's nothing that takes the fun out of painting, like having expectations, you know, the expectation of doing good work. There's something interesting also that's happened. Since I've sort of let go of expectations and sort of um, embraced the process of discovery and experimentation, my paintings have just gotten better. So I think we paint better when the motivation is different and when there's less expectation. Anyway, that may seem obvious, but it did take me a while to kind of come to that conclusion and let go of those expectations of doing a, a good painting. Um, so yeah, embrace the process and the rest will take care of itself. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below. Um, got a lot of Got a lot of videos on there, a lot of sort of podcasty style videos lately, just sitting down at the table and talking about my process and ideas I have about painting. So anyway, if that sounds interesting, uh, there's a Patreon link down below. Like I said, it does support the channel and helps me keep making these videos. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for hanging out. Stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video.